people, this has been a little while since I've done a live feed by myself, so I thought I'd take take it for a walk. There's some cool stuff come up today, and I always say cool stuff in replace of I've had some scary stuff or some deep stuff or anything like that. But I'll get to that in a minute, I'm just going to take you through a walk. Anyone who's watching the recording, please throw some questions in. Anyone who's jumping on, say hi. I see you're jumping on there, Brendo, man. What? Why am I wearing a jumper, brother? What What has happened to Cairns weather the last three or four days? It's crazy. Someone Someone said winter, and and Cairns is like, well, let's have a let's have a taste of that. It's it's <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I even had a t-shirt on inside. That's crazy too. I'm just gonna go for a walk down here. Bear with me, too, guys. Um, Usually you can only focus on one thing at once. It <laughs> touch cold, it is Brendo, it's crazy. Uh, but the title, the title of this, well, it's really based on personal shit and it's funny. It's funny when it comes up. Um, and it's funny when we're aware it comes up or why and all that sort of stuff. Um, I could talk about my last few days, but I could talk, I'm going to talk about like some stuff that I've thought about today, which is really, really important and I know it'll resonate with a few people is... When, when you, you hold on to stuff so tightly and it's perceived from you as being dark or deep, um, we grip onto it so tightly and we sort of bounce around avoiding it or we, we shove it back in another part, it comes up and we're like, well, we don't want to deal with that now. And I, I get this stuff up, come up, <laughs> this stuff, this stuff come up a lot lately. Tropical North people don't know cold. <laughs> I'll get to the comments soon, but yeah, Tessa, I grew up north of Melbourne in the in the hills and it was freezing down there. I know cold. Trust me, this reminds me of that. Well, I'm back. Definitely back. I think everyone jumped off then as the service disappeared. That's cool. If you're still with me, give me the thumbs up. Like I say, I'm going for a walk now. Internet's terrible in this area, but oh, well, at least I'm going to get a work, a good walk in. Can't even speak properly. But like I say, we expend so much energy, and a lot of the time we don't realise until we like get it out some way. And something I've been doing a lot lately, and I know it's helped me a lot, is just writing stuff down. And whatever it is, we mightn't relate it to bad, or we mightn't relate it to holding us back, or anything like that. But Right there is probably, it's a, it's a major thing that people don't get. A simple thing like an outlet or something like that where you do, where you do it, you don't even have to communicate it with anyone. And I think this is where a lot of people go wrong too, even myself. It's like, shit, we've got shit coming up, we want to hide it from people. And you can still have that outlet by just doing certain things, like journaling something that I'm getting more into now, and just writing stuff down and having a look at it. It's like an outlet, guys. It's like... We talk about writing goals into existence. We talk about visualizing things and things we want. How about how about writing our problems, releasing them into existence, releasing them into wherever? And simple things like writing something more and more than I'm doing. And gee, if you've seen some of my notes, I was going through a lot of my notes this afternoon. Um, <laughs> a lot of them don't make sense. And it just struck me that a lot of our shit doesn't make sense either. Like a lot of our stuff, when you do have that outlet or write it out, it doesn't make sense either. But if you just have that outlet, just anything where you put that thing, it's like, I'm getting something out. It's something's going and it doesn't matter how. You don't have to make sense of it. You don't have to understand why you need to get it out. And like I say, so many of us hide away from that and expend energy away from doing anything about it. We just want to tuck it away because we're afraid of what people think. But more importantly, we're more afraid that we've got some attachment to that. If we let it go, what's going to happen? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to create space in some essence, in some form, to allow something you in. And you don't know what it is. You don't have to know. You don't have to understand it. Um, hello to everyone who's jumping on here now. Just coming up here. There's like a little playground. I might have a seat. The internet seems to be sticking at the moment, which is cool. But yeah, like I say, some things today is just like... Simple shit, like I was getting frustrated, I was getting a little bit annoyed, I'm like, what's going on? That was me the other day. Got rid of that shit, and what I did, and I just, well, I'm pretty sure what triggered it, and I'll get to it in a minute. I just went in, like, I wrote a few things down, and not much of it made sense. So I'm like, well, I felt this way because of this, or that, 
I felt edgy because of this. And it was like I had a huge conversation with a superstar earlier, Marty Cornish, and it was a brilliant, it was like three hours of like absolute energy back and forth, and it was all good. But we spoke about a couple of things that have been going on, and it triggered a couple of things. I didn't realize it until I started writing stuff down. But what it was was when I spoke about it, I'm like, oh, shit, it wasn't bad. But I'd held on to a lot of stuff, and I'm like, fuck, it was good to talk about that, but it sort of unlocked a few other things that were underlying that. If this is not making sense, guys, it's cool. I'm just having a bit of an outlet tonight. Um, but I'm sure you can understand whatever it is, personal stuff, and I, I talk about this as personal. A lot of it's been personal. Personal stuff like like things where you've held guilt around something, where you haven't fully, fully fulfilled what you wanted to do or you've let people down and you've held on to guilt and things like that. I had a bit of that come up again today. But the guilt was around because I didn't close it off. I didn't get closure for myself. And I felt guilty that I could have communicated something better. Could have, like, finished it earlier. And by just writing things down today and say, well, that's, that's come out today. That's gone. I just, like, felt, well, why, why would we spend so much energy? Why have I expended so much energy just not finishing something off or not, not finish your communication or sending that last email or something like that? And it's funny what triggers these things. It really is. Like I say, I'm not even worried if this is a ramble. I'm not even worried if this doesn't make sense to you guys. Um, because for me right now, I just wanted to, to have a chat, put it out there social media style. I've uh, been doing a lot of amazing things lately with my beautiful girlfriend, Tanya. We've created some great stuff. We've got some more cool stuff coming tomorrow night. Um, we've been bouncing off each other, some good, some bad, um, some, some really, really creative stuff. And just to have this outlet now out here by myself, getting a breath of fresh air, chatting to you guys and, and just sharing that the stuff you hold on to, whatever it is, if you don't have some sort of outlet, if you don't have the people around you, if you don't have that, that amazing relationship where you can bounce something off them or, or get something out, just know there's plenty of other little tools you can use. Fucking use them. A lot of people go to confession. That's cool. But for me, it's like learning how to, to let surrender into just writing something down or coming out and just having an outlet. This is a simple outlet. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions too, guys. Cheers, Johan. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Just keeping it real too, guys. Pretty sure it's the weekend. This is like my way to finish off a Saturday afternoon where it's been an awesome morning, like I say. Some, some great stuff coming up, some amazing stuff coming up tomorrow night. If you guys are about tomorrow night, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, myself and Tanya have got some amazing, some amazing news to share again. Brucey, how are you, brother? But I want to just, yeah, like make it clear, guys. If you guys are on social media, I don't know what you do. Here's a cool point. If you're going to use this as an outlet, use it as an outlet to be of service to others. It's something that I like, I love and I'm passionate about. Um, I'd like to make more sense on this. But think about this, guys. I just want you to think about a few things. It's If you're expending energy, just any, even holding back cool stuff. Here's the thing, creativity. Holding back creativity. Holding back things, the ideas. It's the same thing. Kyle, how are you, brother? I love your work, man. Keep it up. Them floors. Fuck you laying a few floors lately. <laughs> But all anything you hold back on, anything, good, bad, dark secrets from your past, whatever, all of that you hold back on and you suppress or you stop from doing, that's going to hold you up from going forward no matter what. Because all of it takes up space. All of it, all of it takes up emotional space, energetic space. It's, it's a simple, if you want to look at it as black and white, Steve, how are you, man? Ah, it's good to be home. Brother, there's no sunshine here, but... Ah, now we're getting an interaction. Cool. I'm really thankful for finding you both and the group we have. I never imagined bouncing energy off strangers could be so mutually beneficial. Ah, me too. Tessa, I go back nearly two years now. And I, yeah, I understand, and you guys, we, I compare it to sporting teams. You get in that energy of a sporting team, and you've got a teammate, and they G each other up. You've got the energy, all that sort of stuff. Same sort of thing, guys, and... And it's something I, I, I discovered really, really quickly is having a group of people that are growing, that are learning, that are sharing stuff like this. 
but really personal in that closed environment. It's really cool, and I'm glad you've you've really understood the energy, Tessa. And it all goes, like I say, I'm sharing this stuff now. Dave, how are you, man? I'm definitely a unit. I don't know about the big unit. I lost about eight kilos over the last two months, brother, but I'm in ripping shape, so got to see the good in all that. But yeah, like I say, Tessa and anyone watching too, that environment is key, energy is key. But if you're in an environment and it is personal development, this is what I'm talking about, releasing, talking about personal shit, dark stuff, being in that environment, that energy, do you know what? The energy alone is going to help you release. The energy alone is going to help you uh, unlock whatever it is you want to unlock. The energy alone of the other people who are doing the same thing on the same vibration. This is it, cool. Same people, same vibration, same frequency, doing the same shit, wanting to grow putting it out there and growing and learning and releasing all at once, man, I can sit back and I can just guide. Myself and Tanya can sit back and just guide and just be there to allow you to do that, to create the space for you guys to do that. Glad you glad you brought that up there, Tessa. I was like, this has been a cool ramble. Like, it really has. I'll get messages soon saying, what were you talking about through half of that? But I'm glad um, that you <laughs> brought that up. So anyway, guys... I'm gonna go. I just needed that little thing. There wasn't really much in there. Not personal. Could be personal. Could be whatever you you perceive it as. Silence. I love that coming out of here by the trees. But if you are looking, guys, if you are looking to make some changes or whatever, you are holding on to stuff and you're not sure. You don't know. You don't want to have that outlet. You need guidance, and just know that there are people. It doesn't have to be me. There are people out there that can create the space, that safe environment to allow that creativity to come out, to allow you to release, to, to give you tools and that, to be able to do it yourself, to be able to learn it and apply it yourself. I think that's the point of this, really. The ramble has a point. I just know there are people out there, but you've got to make the choice to do it. You've got to make the choice to trust. You've got to make the choice to apply yourself. You've got to make the choice to, to not want to deal with the suppression anymore, to not want to deal with holding back anymore. You've got to make that choice. and. It's a pretty simple one at the end of the day from my perspective now because I, I've made them choices. I've also made choices to suppress stuff like I did today. Stuff came up. I wasn't sure of it. I had a bit of an outlet. I wrote it down. I'm like, oh, shit. Bit of guilt around it. Something from six months ago. There you go. Bye-bye guilt. See you later. Screw up that fucking paper and out you go. Sounds pretty simple, but guess what, guys? It is less energy. There's less energy releasing than there is suppressing and I know some of you guys that are doing the the program we've got going at the moment the harmonious balance program I know some of you on there have already understood this and you're already you're already feeling that it's like wow well, I feel light I feel light of course you feel light the shit you hold on to is heavy the shit you release is light the after everything's light you've created space the stuff that comes in is lighter so imagine that here's I'm like going off on a tangent I love this I've just like I just had like this this download then if you want to call it or whatever you want to call it you you hold it in the stuff that's heavy it takes up massive space just like you've got a storage unit big heavy stuff you've got from your past you drag it around everywhere it picks up dirt it picks up cobwebs it picks up shit you hold on to that hold on to it you got to move it around from here to there you, you move it there there you got to carry it around you keep it for ages just there it's just taking up space you got to pay for it to take up space that's another burden it gets heavier and heavier when you release it you create space it might seem heavy to get it out to lift it out to clear it out you might need help you might need guidance but knowing that it's going knowing that it's been released knowing it's creating space when you're in the action of doing it it's scary it's different you're like fuck I'm attached to this the heaviness is still there I, I don't know am I gonna allow something in that's heavy or am I creating space for something? It's like, guess what? You're going to get a new aerodynamic, new fast track, new modernized something to take up that space. But it's not going to take up the space. It's going to be, it's going to fit into a little corner. It's going to suit. It's going to be more, it's going to be more aligned with what you're doing now. And you're going to have it as an action item. Everything that's in action and moving is there. It's not going to be stored. You're going to be applying. You're going to be utilizing. It's going to be your passion. It's going to be your enjoyment. It's going to be your creativity. That's lighter. That's what you want to use. It's not storage. That's why it's lighter, guys. Fuck, I'm glad. I knew I had to do this live feed. Anyone who's watched the recording right through and listened to the ramble, that little bit there is what I was getting to, and I needed this outlet to get to that.
It all comes down to the action too, guys. Everything you learn, you put into action. Everything you put into action is like because you're moving it fast. Gary Vee is the man. Action is key. Action with everything. Action, move. Speed is key. Speed, speed, speed. So imagine that. Speed, release. Get rid of the heavy shit. Allow in the aer- aerodynamic, light shit. That is action. That You put into action. You apply every day. Cool, hey. You guys in the Harmonious Balance Workshop, I mean, not the workshop, the course, this is, this is the zone I had to get in now. I'm going to roll out more of this Monday. There you go. It took me fucking 10 minutes to get some clarity about what I was talking. <laughs> sometimes it might be hard, guys. Sometimes you've got to force yourself. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. But at the end of the day, if it's for a purpose, if you've got intention, there you go, Baxter, perfect. What you say is right no matter what. And I know you guys aren't here to judge. It'd be amazing if some of you guys jumped on here and you were judgmental and you spoke your mind instead of hiding there in the background and send me private messages. That'd be cool, but pretty happy with that little last bit too. Can someone send that back to me in writing? That'd be really, really cool. Hope Tanya's watching this. She'll be like, what was that ramble until you got to the cool part? (laughs) Oh, wow. I just found headphones. I'm going to rock and roll. Thank you for your time, guys. It was really random, but like I say, my point was to have my own little outlet, a little personal space that I share with all you guys. <laughs> I know it's what you need. It's what we all need, Tessa. We all need to, to know this and train ourselves to do this. We all need to surrender to sometimes we need other people to guide us with this stuff. I say it's two years of this I've been working on. Two years and I continue to grow. I continue to get shit wrong. I continue to suppress stuff. I continue to, to drag heavy shit around with me. But then I still continue to be a broad awareness to things from, from things I've gone through, from allowing myself to have a release, to allowing myself to have an outlet, to bouncing things off my beautiful partner, to bouncing things off people around me, to copying criticism. So there's so many different ways, but... It's when we choose to listen, it's when we choose to see the signs, it's when we choose to take it in and we choose to release or we choose to move on with it and take action on it. I could roll along with this. Like it's I'm like I need a light on here guys. But like I say, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's getting dark. I don't know how much value I've added in the dark. <laughs> I did. All right, there's more, there's more feedback. They want me to keep going. All right. I want to pump myself in the head most days for not giving into life. Release. Surrender to it. Surrender to the process. And you guys are already in the program and you guys are thinking about getting into something and you're sitting on the fence and you're worrying. The cool thing about, and I, I had a cool coaching call the other night with a great girl. She's a coach already. Um, she surrendered to the fact. She surrendered to the fact that she's like, well, I've been doing things my own way, but I need something to do that. And I said to her, how about this? Surrender yourself to the program you're already committed to. Surrender yourself to the process. Don't let the ego take over because you know a lot already. Don't let your own ways rule what you're doing now because it hasn't got you anywhere. How about this? Be accountable to me, to my guidance, to my program's guidance, to my and Tanya's guidance. Be a, be, surrender to that. And if we don't guide you right, just put the... Put it on us. Say, hey, well, this isn't working. Do it. What you'll find by taking that away from your own, that own, whatever you want to say. It. You, you're not really owning it. We're owning the guidance. But putting that, that on to us, taking the pressure off yourself with it, we're going to be the heavy lifters. We're going to be the ones that are going to provide the trolleys. Take so much pressure off yourselves, guys. It does. Wow, it is getting dark really quick. I'll we'll walk down here. Do you get where I'm going with this? This is turning... I'm glad that you guys have jumped on. This is turning into like a little training. Monday nights is going to be really, really cool. We've already got it planned and structured, but I, I can see I've, um, I've just tapped into something tonight that's really, really cool. Street light. Street light. Nah, it's not really lighter. I'm going to walk with me. Any, any questions, guys? Throw them through. Like I say, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you a lot. It was a lot of ramble to get to this point, and it's the actual the actual purpose that I that I I, I, I I've done the live feed. It's um because I needed to get something out, and I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. <laughs> there you go, Baxter. Looking forward to our call tomorrow too, Baxter. 
It's um, it's going to shed some light on what you're going through and and, and what's coming up too. Really, really cool. Look at this. This is where I cut out before, so I'm going to rock and roll, guys. Any questions? Um, just put them in the comments below if it's personal stuff and you're not sure if you want to put it on here. Um, definitely flick me a quick inbox so I can check them for the next half hour. Um, and that's that's what I want to do. It's cool. This has been an outlet for me. Thank you for allowing me the time to have this outlet. It's home time. It's getting cold here in far north Queensland. It's down to about 22 degrees. That's terrible. I will see you guys tomorrow night. I'm pretty sure it's 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Australian time. Um, definitely, definitely jump on that. That is going to be absolutely next level. It's going to be high energy. It's going to be something absolutely crazy that me and Tanya have worked on. Um, and it's going to be released tomorrow night. It's cool. Anyway, bye-bye.